Got a Wellness Wednesday with Colleen Vaughn, and today we are talking about social media influencers, Hollywood people, fancy people looking good <laughs> that eat clean. Well, I'm just eating clean. I had a family member that would talk about that. Like, yeah, I'm just eating clean. What do you mean, dude? I'm food really well before I get um, <laughs> Define yeah. eating clean, Colleen. I just like imagine a bunch of food like in a bubble bath. Um, so I think what the, the general definition is that people are trying to eat foods that they think are healthier, right? So maybe they've been a little bit greenwashed. Maybe they are, you know, shown in a box that says, you know, natural and um, gluten-free and all of the, the terms. If that it's gluten-free, it's healthy. It's exactly. good for me. It's good for me, yes. So I think that is, has, is sort of the messaging that eating clean has taken on. When I talk to a client about cleaning up their diet, we're talking about getting more toward unprocessed foods. And so foods more in their natural form. I'm not saying you need to be a raw vegan, but I am saying that, you know, there's a very big difference between say like the raisins in the box and the grapes from the produce section. You know, the, those are two very different foods and the processing changes the way your body digests the food. So if we can back the truck up and start to get it where it's more in its natural state, that to me is more clean eating because it's been less messed with. So that's the way I tend to define clean eating is really getting food in its more natural and processed state. Yeah, I think one of the it one of the truths that just it is what it is, folks, is that if you want a robust immune system, you want to age really well, you want to put off the aging process as long as possible and not just succumb to you know, well, here's what I am at 50 and 60 and all that. You yeah. need to cook. You, you just do, or you need to hire somebody to do it for you. Like I'm down with that. That's awesome. But you just need to prepare food. And if your life is so busy that you have no time, no interest to prepare food, you don't understand, Pete. I'm like, yeah, little by little, do it one day a week, then do it two, then maybe do a meal prep on a Sunday to spread the week out, but you need, you just can't get around it, folks. Eat it's food. Part of, it's part of self-care, right? I mean, you have time to brush your teeth and take a shower and go to the bathroom. Eating is right in there. And so is sleeping. These are basic self-care strategies. We have to do them. And if you're going to do it, at least do it well, right? But denying the simple truth you know, you wouldn't go for two weeks at a time without bathing nope. and, and cleaning your, your body. Right. But yet when we go to sleep, sleep is what cleans our mind and cleans our system and restores us. And there's people that go for two weeks on end without good sleep and mm -hmm. you pay a price for it. So and people who go two weeks on end without eating a, an actual clean, good, healthy meal that provides their body with the nutrients it needs to rebuild itself. So, right. yeah, it's right up there. Back the truck up. Eat clean. Back the truck up, man. Yeah. All right. That's good. Thanks, Colleen. Yep.